Dana, and I um, am a person from Miami, Florida, <laughs> and uh, I have been writing plays for a while now, um, and also I write uh, TV and screenplays and lyrics more new, more recently, um, and uh, excited to be here. All right. So my play is called Kate Suspended. Um, funnily enough, it's about somebody named Kate. And um, it really uh, is about a woman of a certain age. Um, when I started this, I was that age. Now I'm even older. But sort of coming to a point in her life where um, she is, everything has changed and she hasn't quite caught up with um, a change, the, how her career has changed and work has changed and sort of feeling once promising and now on the other side of sort of too old to be promising um, because there's more of life lived than left and she becomes roommates with her younger self and it proceeds from there um, in a hopefully comedic way. All right. So, um, the inspiration for this piece was really getting older myself and uh, as a woman um, get sort of past our long, our extended youth and um, feeling uh, curious about how I would have felt about um, myself when I was younger. Would I have been friends with that person? Would I have understood that person? Also I think it came from, I often think about regret. I think it's a very human emotion, an emotion that has to do with grief and love. So mm -hmm. I think and this sort of sense of unlived lives, um, that was part of the inspiration. Um, a literal inspiration was uh, I was doing a lot of TV and I was given the Go Write a Play Award at the Lilies at Stacey Mindage Funds and I just decided to go off and write a play but I didn't finish it until COVID gave us all an extended um, time to uh, change course a little bit. I'd been sort of hamster wheel and it didn't have that much time to pause and think and um, I wanted to finish this. Um, so this play has been an extended process because I started it, took a long break and then went back to it. Um, the original premise was something I, th I thought of as a TV idea, a woman becomes roommates with her younger self. But once I decided to make it a play, it was able to become, I think, more metaphorical, more metaphysical, and uh, something that I think extended beyond the sort of genre boundaries um, and was more interesting for me to write. And then a kind of funny literal inspiration, which is a moment that somewhat sets off the play, was at, um, when I was a uh, young and had my first job in TV, I had an intern, um, a guy who was um, close to my age, and um, I went off, left TV to go write plays and try to write plays and went back to grad school, and he stayed in this job and became a really big TV executive, TV creator, and at one point when I was doing TV, he um, had me come in through my agent to be considered to write on the staff of his show. And he later said, you know, it would just be so uncomfortable since I was her intern. And I thought that was kind of a funny, slightly bitter. I love writing from bitterness and revenge. <laughs> I thought, hmm, why do I think about that? Um, it was also a time when um, the culture was shifting. So I made her a journalist because I have journalist friends who, uh, you know, that field has just completely changed from under their feet since people... Um, you know, newspapers, magazines, we may be telling our grandchildren. There used to be a thing called a newspaper and a retail store. Um, and then also just um, at the time that happened, he, this was a white man and the world was felt like that was certainly in the en entertainment industry, um, that there wasn't a shift yet to saying like, we want to open up to other voices. And so it, was, it all was like a rich stew of both um, time and identity and seeing the humorous side, but also 
dealing with real grief and loss, which happens inevitably as we get older. Um, I'm very excited to be in such a beautiful place, having space and time to put my head back into the play, to work with an amazing cast. I, it's a play um, I have never heard, so I've never had a reading of this play. Um, I'm excited to work with Wendy Goldberg again because we worked together and we were both pretty new at it. Wendy probably even newer, but when I was doing um, one of my first productions was a play called Tomorrowland that Wendy directed in um, in its I believe, first production. So uh, excited to be um, continuing that relationship after so much time apart, which really feeds into the idea of the play and how, how we change but pick up pieces and those connections um, continue even when we have so many long years of absence. So that I'm excited about that.